Alright guys, so today we're going to be showing you how to set up the water wheel from Immersive Engineering. And I just put glass here to make it kind of cleaner and uh, so you can see what's going on here. So first you're going to need, obviously, your water wheel. And uh, and build that in NEI. It's just wood and creosote oil and some other things. And uh, You also need an LV capacitor to store your energy or an Ender IO capacitor bank. Also. Uh, a cell, storage cell from thermal expansion will do the trick too. So some way to store your energy. Also, you're, most importantly, you're going to need a kinetic dynamo. This is what actually pulls the power off of your uh, water wheel. And then you're going to need LV wire connector, LV wire, and that's it for the, for the building process. If you need to know how to make any of these, you can look them all up on NEI and... Uh, so here we go. We're going to build this basically over here. And uh, first time I tried doing this, I was clicking all over the place. Couldn't figure out why the heck this water wheel wouldn't go on the ground. Turns out you have to put it on a wall. So you can build three up. I'm going to build four this time. But if you click here, there you go. I just don't like the look of it on the ground. So yeah. Next, we want to uh, place down our kinetic dynamo. Now, if you look on the sides of this, uh, it has different things going on here. You want to make sure you uh, shift click, or not shift click, but click your uh, water wheel onto the side that has this right here, this coil, and then the gray spot in the middle. If you don't do that, uh, it's not going to produce any power. And I found that out the hard way. So next, uh, you want to get your water set up. And I like to do the block off to the, to the right. You can send the water off either way right or left. We're going to bring this over like that, a few blocks. Then I like to dig a hole here just to keep the water from spilling out everywhere, just to keep it a little bit clean. You don't need the blocks on the side like this. It's just how I want to build it. All right, next you want to place your water down. Oops, missed a spot. And, uh, that should make your water wheel start spinning. There we go. <laughs> got worried for a second there. All right, now that you're, you've are you got this set up, your water wheel is spinning, you have your kinetic dynamo here uh, doing its thing. The next thing you wanna do is try to pull the power off of this thing. Now, I'm gonna put these side by side just so you can see. We've got our Ender IO basic capacitor and our LV capacitor, which is actually cheaper than the Ender IO one. So I'd suggest building this one, even though it doesn't hold as much RF. It's uh, pretty cheap for a basic game in uh, Feed the Beast Infinity or whatever else you're using this, whatever other packs have this. So next, we're going to take our LV wire connector. You want to shift click down so you don't end up accessing an interface. Either one of these. Uh, now that you have these on top, this is what's going to transfer your power into the capacitors themselves. So next we want to right click on that and you see how it said linking from uh, these coordinates and then you want to bring it over to this. Now, that's going to start uh, pulling power off of this, putting it into your dynamo. You can do the same thing here, I think. Yeah, so we can hook up two different things here. Uh, so we got 4,000 RF already coming from here to here. Let's just break that. Because this was actually sending power into the capacitor bank because they're side by side. But now you can see they're both, they both work. You don't have to have them going into a single one either. You can have multiples. That, maybe one over here. That should work. Once this one's filled up, this one's going to fill up too. So yeah, that's how you uh, set up your water wheel for immersive engineering. And also another note you can do is you can actually hook th a total of three of these wheels up to your uh, kinetic dynamo before you need to place another one here. So you can make a big uh, power production plant as long as you're just pulling the power off the single one right here. Yeah, that's all there is for this. I'll probably do more on immersive engineering 
another day.